G'day fellas, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be following the career of our guest, Lorenzo Harding. Every single one of his stats is going to be on a 99 rating. Who knows why a wide receiver would need 99 throw power, but he's got it. Who knows why a wide receiver would need to utilize both this swim and spin move, but you know what, Lorenzo can do it. This experiment is brought to you from the fact that we now have custom draft classes. As you can see, Lorenzo Harding is projected to go in round two, pick 15. Because it is a custom draft class, we're going to find out who is going to be drafting him, switching over and controlling him, and then going from there. It's going to be interesting to see if there's any news articles on him from the draft stories. Notre Dame strong safety, Rashawn Pool. who cares? There is nothing here about Harding. So that means that he's probably going to fly under the radar. Let us go ahead and start the NFL draft. Wait, we're picking seven. Ah, he's still there with a 10.1 combine grade. <laughs> That's interesting. Surprised no team decided to pick him up. We pick up a cornerback. He actually looks pretty good, but that's not why we're here. We're trying to find this wide receiver and who is going to pick him up. The Miami Dolphins with the fourth pick in the second round have drafted Lorenzo Harding. I mean, 99 overall superstar, 6'5". You see it there. <laughs> so OP. Well, the Dolphins just drafted themselves the best player of all time. So obviously everything's going to be set to manual. So we get to do all the XP all that kind of stuff everybody can relocate why not i'd love to see a team just randomly relocate in 10 years oh that is so cool that being said fellas this is gonna take a while but i'll see you in a minute The year is 2028. People are still taking selfies and the Aftershocks are a real team in the NFL. So Lorenzo is still chilling here with the Miami Dolphins. That's good to see. He's a loyal player. We have 44 upgrade points. Lorenzo Harding is second on the legacy leaderboard in behind Julio Jones. Lorenzo has 884 receptions for nearly 15,000 yards. Averages 17 yards. Has 172 touchdowns. So we're still a 99 overall, 10 years pro. Good to see that we haven't lost a step. We seem to lose a lot of confidence, but our XP is just going up. We have nearly achieved 50,000 XP in its entirety. We didn't start off as a captain, but now are. So we are signed to a four year contract with $80 million in total salary. Man, we earned 26 mil in the year 2032. Understandable though. But checking out some of the awards. So as you can see, drafted second round pick four in 2019. He's had nine Pro Bowl appearances, only one has been the league leader in receptions 2024 best receiver the list goes on offensive rookie of the year best receiver for a lot of years in his rookie season he managed to pick up 1370 receiving yards on 13 touchdowns our best year of receiving came in 2023 when we were on the verge of putting up 2000 yards this one particular year we averaged 112 yards per game we've only had two seasons where we averaged over that 100 yard milestone in one of those seasons we picked up 24 receiving touchdowns that is absolutely insane mate Brian Costonzo. Brian Costonzo is our quarterback, 28 years old, 89 overall. He has 99 throw power, so you know that he's just bombing it deep. Well, we still can't upgrade him, even though we have 44 points. So in 2023, we finished fifth on the all-time season receiving yards with 1,788. So we're amongst a pretty prolific group right here. In terms of receiving touchdowns, we broke Randy Moss's record in the year 2021, which was the year I believe we went over 100 yards a game, but only barely inching out Randy Moss, mate. That is quite incredible. Who became the Aftershocks? Only the Chargers relocate in this game. It was the same last year, it's the same this year. Joey Bosa is still the best player on the team at 94 overall, 34 years old. Dre DeMar is the right and he is 94 overall. Imagine how good their defensive line is with both of these guys. The career is still not over. We're on a four year contract, which means we'll be 14 years pro. I'm hoping if I simulate the next four years, we can finish with a brand new team. We'll see who offers this. It would be pretty cool to finish with the Aftershocks. So let's go simulate a couple more years before we recap and check out the entirety of Lorenzo Harding's career. This is the re-sign period, the off season. We are not coming back to Miami. We have spent 14 years here. Currently have 47 little hexagons. Oh, wow. We're now currently 34 years old and have dropped down to a 92 overall. But never worry because we have 47 skill points so we can just cheese ourselves back up to 99. There we go, back up to 99. And we still have 41 skill points left over. It's looking like we're gonna have to retire with Miami here. We still have two years on contract. I've simulated four years, which is what our contract was. Lorenzo has to retire. He's even dropped the Miami getup. He's now sitting in the free agency clothes. 
It's not even going to let us use our upgrade points. We're just pretty much forced to retire. With that being said, though, we do finish number one overall on the Legacy Leaderboard. So we are technically the best wide receiver of the modern era, pretty much. Holy crap, the Miami defense is stacked. DJ Rogers and Tank Howard, both OP as crap. So in our last season, we caught 94 balls for 1,200 or nearly 1,300 yards and 10 touchdowns. For not one season did we go under 1,000 receiving yards. This one was definitely the highlight, though, going for nearly 1,800 in one season not to mention the 2021 season where we broke randy moss's record and we blew out everybody else too lorenzo harding finished with a 20,000, nearly 21,000 legacy score one super bowl three afc championships 22 yearly awards compare that to julio jones who are didn't win a Super Bowl, two NFC championships and eight yearly awards. It'd be nice to see how Jerry Rice stacks up, up amongst all of this too. But to put things into perspective, Larry Fitzgerald is fifth on this list, also with no Super Bowl. Lorenzo Harding is the 1024th ranked wide receiver in the league, putting him in the top 1%. So if we were to go to goals, what comes up? It just says no goals, kind of reminds me of my life. We finish up with 13 Pro Bowl appearances, eight best wide receiver awards. We only led the league in receptions one time though, which is crazy. For the entirety of our career, we ended up with 21,158 receiving yards. Add on top of that, we have 226 touchdowns over the course of our career. Oh, I, don't tell me I could have just come here. Which puts us second behind Jerry Rice, who had nearly 23,000 yards. So a 99 overall wide receiver off the rip still cannot beat Jerry Rice's receiving yards. And then after that, Larry Fitz had 16 and a half thousand, so nowhere even close to Lorenzo Harding. We dominate Jerry Rice in terms of total receiving touchdowns with that 226. Lorenzo Harding is definitely in the debate of best wide receiver of all time. Considering that Jerry Rice barely edged us out on yards, Yards, but we dominated in terms of receiving touchdowns. If you were to pick either Jerry Rice or Lorenzo Harding, who would you choose to be your wide receiver for your franchise? Don't forget to let me know down in the comment section. My game is officially glitched out as well. Like really glitched out. Look at this. It's just black screen. But that being said, fellas, that is going to wrap up following the career of a 99 overall wide receiver rookie. If you have any other positions you'd like to see me do, don't forget to drop them down in the comment section. Of course, don't forget to let me know if you would take Lorenzo Enzo Harding or Jerry Rice as your franchise wide receiver. And that being said, fellas, if you made it this far into the video, you are the real MVP. Hope the rest of your day is awesome. And from me personally, I'm out. Peace. I don't know where you've been You're slurring all your words Not making any sense